Let us learn about Marchantia, one of the members of bryophytes. Marchantia belongs to the class Hepaticopsida, order Marchantiaes, family Marchantiaceae, and genus Marchantia. Some of the important species of Marchantia are Marchantia palmata, Marchantia polymorpha, Marchantia asamica, Marchantia nepalensis, etc. The plants are cosmopolitan in their distribution, that is, they are seen throughout the world and they are represented by about 65 species of which 11 are seen in India. In India, Markentia is seen growing in regions of Assam, Darjeeling, Srinagar, Nilgiri Hills, Shimla, etc. Markentia palmata and Markentia nepalensis are seen growing at an altitude of 8,000 feet, whereas Markentia polymorpha grows at an altitude of 15,000 feet. These plants grow in cool shady places. They appear as dense green patches. They are also seen growing on bare rocks, damp soils, sites of streams and old unmaintained walls. The dominant phase of Markentia is a gametophyte. Let us learn the morphology of the gametophyte. Gametophyte of Markentia is a simple thallus. That is, it is not differentiated into root, stem or leaf-like structures. It is dorsi ventral, dorsi ventrally flattened, prostrate that is creeping on the ground and dichotomously branched. When we look at the dorsal surface of the thallus, the dorsal surface of the thallus is dark green in its color shows a very prominent midrib which extends from the posterior end of the thallus to the anterior end the midrib is shallow prominent and broad on the dorsal surface we find large number of the whole thallus is covered by large number of poly polygonal or rhomboidal areas. These polygonal or rhomboidal areas are called as the areolae. In the center of the areolae, there is an opening seen. These openings are called as the air pores. which help in the exchange of gases. Each areole is corresponds to a air chamber beneath the thallus. That is every areole, every rhomboidal area is a marking of the air chamber present beneath it. On the midrib of the thallus, there are small cup-like structures present. These cup-like structures are called as the gemma cups. Inside the gemma cups, small globose bodies called as gemme are seen. Gem may help in the vegetative propagation of the plant. On the dorsal surface, the thallus is dark green, has a prominent midrib, shows the presence of rhomboidal areas called as areolae. In the center of each areolae is an air pore called is an air pore which helps in exchange of gases on the dorsal side. There are small crescent shaped or cup like structures 
which are shallow in nature. These shallow cup-like structures are called as the gamma cups. Inside the gamma cups are the gamma, which help in vegetative propagation. In the apical region, there is a notch seen. This notch is called as the apical notch. In the apical notch, the growing tissue is concentrated or the apical notch has growing cells which help in the growth of the thallus. This is the dorsal surface or the dorsal view. Now let us see the ventral surface. When we turn the thallus to the ventral surface, in the center of the thallus, we find a ridge-like structure which corresponds to the midrib of the dorsal region. And on either side of this midrib, there are small membranous structures called scales are seen. The scales of Marchensia are arranged at an angle of 45 degrees and appear in two rows on either side. In certain species of Marchensia, there are three to four rows of scales present. Scales of Marchensia are of two types. One is called as the ligulate scale and the other one is called as the appendiculate scale. The ligulate scales are simple membranous structures which are multicellular in their structure but are single celled in thickness. The appendiculate scales are similar to ligulate scales but they have a constriction in the apical region because of which the apex is drawn into a sub-rounded structure. These cells are called as the appendiculate scales. These scales are again multicellular but are single celled in their thickness. Both the scales are purple in color because of the presence of pigment called as anthocyanin that is the scale the cells of the scales accumulate anthocyanin and so they appear purple in color that is why on the dorsal surface of the thallus uh, that is on the ventral surface of the thallus the thallus shows a tinge of purple rather than dark green the appendiculate scales are seen very close to the midrib region whereas the ligulate scales are seen towards the periphery. From beneath the scales on the ventral surface, we find the rhizoids emerging out. The rhizoids of Marchensia help in anchorage and conduction of water and nutrients. The rhizoids are also of two types. One is called as the smooth wall rhizoids. And the other one is called as the tuberculated rhizoids. The smooth walled rhizoids are simple finger like projections and have a smooth outer and inner walls. Whereas tuberculated rhizoids have small the inner surface of tuberculated rhizoid is drawn into pig like invaginations. That is why they are called as tuberculated rhizoids. This is the morphology of the thallus. Now we will learn about the internal structure of the thallus.